10 cool facts about the praying mantis. My name is Chris, and welcome to Science Talk TV. 10. Mimicry Masters Praying mantises are ambush predators and rely on camouflage to stay hidden as their prey moves near them. They even mimic the movement of plants in the wind to stay hidden. Here is the stick mantis, the dead leaf mantis, the green leaf mantis, and my favorite, the orchid mantis. This orchid mantis looks so much like a flower that when it was first discovered, people thought it was a carnivorous plant, like a Venus flytrap. Praying mantises use this mimicry for hiding as well. They are a tasty snack for animals like frogs, lizards, birds, and spiders. 9. Sexual Cannibalism During or after mating, 25% of the time, the female eats the male. She starts by biting his head off and works her way down. This meal is so big that it provides almost half of the calories needed to produce her eggs. 8. A one-year lifespan. The praying mantis has a short life cycle. Mating happens in the fall, and if the male isn't killed by his missus, he usually will die within a couple of weeks from old age. Maybe this is why he doesn't mind being eaten alive. 80% of all mantis species are tropical, but in the colder climates, the species survive the winter by winterizing the egg sacs. The female hides the eggs and covers them in an insulating case called an oothica. Each oothica can give birth to over 100 babies in the spring. 7. Praying, not praying. I always thought the spelling was P R E Y because the mantis stalks its prey. But no, it is spelled P R A Y because of the way the front hands are bent. These insects look like they are praying to God, and some Christians think they are a good luck charm around your home. Are they really angels watching over you? I don't think so, but some gardeners do stock them on purpose for pest control. And 800 years ago, northern China also developed a martial arts technique based on this threatening pose by the Kung Fu Mantis. 6. Five Eyes the praying mantis has amazing vision, featuring two bulging compound eyes. They have a wide field of vision, and most of the eye is used for motion sensing. Only the front part of the eyes can produce a crisp image. This area is called the fovea. The mantis can rotate its head 180 degrees to focus both fovei on one target, gaining 3D vision. They have perhaps the best depth perception of all insects, and they prefer to hunt during the day because that is when their eyes work the best. In addition to the two huge compound eyes, praying mantises also have three smaller eyes on their foreheads. These three small eyes are used only to sense light and are much more primitive. 5. A live diet. The praying mantis mostly eats other insects like butterflies, beetles, crickets, and bees. However, they have been seen eating larger animals like hummingbirds, geckos, and even fish. They also eat other praying mantises of their own species. Part of their mouth is used to cut and tear, and the other parts are used to stuff the food inside, like little fingers. Before we continue, 
I want to thank my two new Patreons for supporting me while I make new content every week. The Borbs and Susie became members. Thank you so much. Just $1 a month means a lot and helps make this sustainable. I love making science education videos and you can help me do this full time by going to patreon.com slash science talk TV or by clicking the link in the description. And number four, strong arms. Praying mantises rely on hiding and surprise attacks. They have no venom or sting, so they use sheer force and their prominent arms to impale and grasp their prey. Their arms are barbed and tipped with sharp spikes. They work kind of like an arrowhead, keeping the victim stuck in place. The mantis lies in waiting and uses its 3D vision to strike when the victims move within range. The strike is lightning quick and can hardly be seen by the human eye. Once the mantis has something in its grasp, the mouth can decapitate it and start to tear it apart. Three, closely related to cockroaches. Although they look quite different, the mantis's closest living relatives are cockroaches and termites. This super order is called Dictyoptera. These insects all evolved in the Jurassic period, about 200 million years ago. Cockroaches, termites, and praying mantises haven't evolved much since then in 200 million years because they were already so successful at surviving in a wide range of environments. 2. Weak Flyers Most praying mantis species can fly short distances, but they make very loud flapping noises, which is not very sneaky. They are quite poor flyers because of their large size. Mantises prefer to jump from branch to branch. Females are always larger than males, and some females can't fly at all. Males fly around at night to find females by tracking mating pheromones. One, zero or one ear. The flying praying mantis species have one ear on their belly. With just one ear, they can't detect the direction of a sound, but it is useful for one reason. They can hear a hunting bat's ultrasonic echolocation ping. If the mantis is flying and hears this sound, the insect goes into an immediate nosedive. It crashes into the ground and avoids becoming scooped up by the bat. The mantis species without wings have lost their hearing and their ear over time because it's not particularly useful when they aren't airborne. Last week's cool animal was the chameleon. It has a weaponized tongue. You can watch more of my animal videos in this playlist up here. I also do one-on-one science education and science news videos. Thank you for watching Science Talk TV.